Hey guys, this is basic stuff you need to know to get started with organic nomenclature. Nothing in this video is going to be too abstract, I hope. Okay, so starting with this, we have our root words, which you should be familiar with. Um, if you're not, you have to memorize all these. The um, 1, 2, 3, 4, Butte, Probe, Eth, Math, um, everything besides that standard nomenclature. Um, by knowing 1 to 10 and 20, you can name any length in between 1 and 29, simply because, like, say, 11 is going to be un decane, because 10 is decane. 21 is going to be un eicosane, because 20 is eicosane. So, hopefully that shouldn't be that bad. Uh, okay. Other things you need to know are these groups here. Um, some people get these confused with ones similar to them. So isopropyl, you can see the prop. So if we're just going to consider the prop, that means three carbons. And we count the carbons, one, two, three, and that matches with the prop. Lots of people try to count the carbon that's attached to the chain, which you don't, and then they call it a butte, which it isn't. Um, if you see N anything, so you see N propyl, that just, the N means just normal, so you just have it attached to the end carbon. So you have one, two, three carbons again in here, which means it's a probe. Butyl was where something, people get confused. I don't know why, but you just count the carbons. One, two, three carbons, four carbons. I mean, it's a butte, and this isobutyl. Similarly, secbutyl, terpbutyl, um, see with the phenol and benzyl, people get those confused. Phenol only has six carbons attached to the chain, whereas benzyl will have seven carbons attached to the chain. One of them being uh, like a linker region in between the benzyl group and the main chain. So you have to know those. Also, you have to know these, um, benzene not that bad. Naphthalene gets a little bit confusing. Haven't seen it too much yet, but I'm not sure if you ever will. But anyways, you need to know what naphthalene is, and you have to know the numbering system, which is quite abstract. It starts at one of these carbons, goes down to four, skips this one, goes to five, then around to nine, then back to ten. So you can start numbering from this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, or this carbon, and you just follow the same pattern. And I think that's basically it. Uh, I could go over some alkanes, so keep listening if you don't know how to name alkanes. If not, quit listening to me. Okay. Alkanes are pretty basic. Um, they're simply just memorized. I'm just going to do one here. So we see that we have how many carbons here? We have one carbon, two carbon, three carbons, four carbons, five carbons, six carbons. Six carbons means hexane, right off the bat. Okay, cool. Go to the next one.